Honor! I have been spotted by enemies. Whatever shall I do? Send them to hell. That's what a good angel assassin does, isn't it? Great. There you go. Well, thank you. Thank you, Q Madison. All right. <laughs> Wait, where's where's the bad guys? I'm. See, you're over here saying that you don't know my name. What? I've told you my name. Wait, you're not from Madison, Wisconsin? Is that not what that means? No. I've been spotted my name's by. Not Madison. Madison's my middle name. Okay, I've been spotted by enemies, but there's no enemies. It's just. Mhm. Mm it was just me, being stopped you're and the then enemies. going. You're the enemy of yourself. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is so deep. That is so deep. That is so deep. That is so deep, Q. So, so deep. You're just gonna call me Q now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boy, dude, it's better than calling you Madison. Q. It comes out easier, Q. So, Q. your own life and your own mind and your own thoughts are what hold you back. You are your own worst enemy. There you go, Hale. That is deep. That is so Trend deep. Lightly. That is like... That is like deep stuff right there. I sent it to you on Discord. What did you send to me on Discord? My name. Oh. Uh, Although if you sent something to my PayPal earlier, you should know. <laughs> well, I I mean, if I was to guess, I'd guess Quinn, but that's just me. That's what you guess. Huh? That's what you guess? Yeah. Really. yeah. I, 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 that's, that's what I guess. I guess that. What the heck is Cheech doing? Cheech. Uh, I don't need... Ooh, I like Masterwork stuff. I just always keep it. I got two master glaze, I get one away. Don't need a dagger. Don't need another one. Box Don't need a short sword. Don't need composite one bow. Don't need a dagger. Don't need a master glaive. Lots of master glaze, I don't know. These guys are just walking around with master glaives all over the place. It's like master glaive, master glaive, master you know, it's like Alright. It's like, come on now. Okay, do change shirt, change shirt, scale mail, yeah, still leather. I don't even know how much my. Okay, I got 10,000. I still am just, I'm like. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. So if I go by. Descending order. <laughs> what? What was that about? What about? Your laugh. I was just. My laugh? Look at the messages. Oh, I okay. Sent a highlighted message. Uh oh. You, uh. Ka. <laughs> ka chow? Ka chow. Ka chow. Ka chow. Cars. Yeah. Uh, usable. Cheech and his friends used to always say that. Kachow. Kachow. Chat. Kachow is now the word. Kachow, kachow. Uh, let's see. Alright, we're done. We're done with this guy. What are we doing now? I suppose we should rest. Okay, we've completed the burning city. We've talked to. Oh, now we gotta talk to the storyteller. Where's the storyteller? And I gotta find the storyteller. That's not storyteller. That's not a storyteller. Not storyteller. Not storyteller. Oh, wait a minute. You owe me money, don't you? I never collected my money. You owe me 2,000 gold. Thank you very much. Here, take this. Yes, it's 2,000 coins. Take your payment. And remember that Horger Squirm always keeps his word. You helped me get back to the surface, and I duly paid for you for escorting me. Now, speaking of our future cooperation, 
Hargus looks at you with unvarnished disapproval in his arms folded across his chest, his foot tapping impatiently. I have a job that would be perfect for someone like you. Naturally, I'll pay generously for your services. He just paid you and now he's hiring you to do something else. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm that good. I mean, I am a, I am an angel assassin, for God's sakes. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of reward are we talking about? A thousand gold coins. Ooh, can I do diplomacy on you? I kind of want more. Uh, let's try double the reward. How lucky can we get? Oh, I succeeded again. How did I do that? Oh, my gosh. Got that 12. All right. Uh, several tense moments pass in silence, then Horg's face. Deal. Um, so what does the job involve? You shall be my bodyguard. You see, I have good reason to return to my mansion here in Kinnabras. I still have, well, it doesn't matter. It's none of your business. My mansion is a breathtaking building with large garden in the wealthiest part of the city. Even before the demons attacked, every thief and fraudster in the city had tried to get inside one way or another. I shudder to imagine the state it is in now. I have little hope that my guards were able to hold the mansion during the attack, and I expect that servants fled when they saw the demons. Only Abadar knows what happened there since. Therefore, I would ask that you meet me at my mansion and guard me there until I complete my business. So he doesn't need guarding to get to the mansion. Which takes hours of traveling, according to the game. He doesn't need any help going through, you know, sidestepping all the demons that are ransacking the city. He only needs protecting once he's inside of his mansion. That seems like a game mechanic to me, don't Yeah, game mechanic right there. I still I already asked the local paladin for help, but they've no desire to set foot outside this tavern. Damn cowards and traitors. That's what they are. Also, please do take Camellia with you. I trust that girl more than the rest of your gang. She's of noble worth after all. Okay, deal. Marvelous. Most excellent. Orgus' face relaxes, smoothing a few of the tense lines. I'll proceed to my mansion at once and wait for you there. Meanwhile, you needn't worry. I know the city like the back of my hand. But do hurry unless you want me to lower your reward. No, I'm going to go to sleep first. If that's okay with you, I'm going to go to sleep. And then I'll meet you at your uh, house. Because it's time to rest. It is time to rest. Okay. Okay. Now, we shall go to... The fat one. Well, I still need to talk to freaking. Where's the storyteller? Okay, I'll talk to the storyteller when I get back. It's got to be around here somewhere. No. Land. Okay. Survivor. All right. Here. I'm just gonna go. Over. No, I want that over there. Then I can do map, and then I can go boom. All right. So yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's go help the hotty toddy dip waddy individual. Hotty toddy. Mm hmm. Hotty toddy. Uh oh. Not freaked out. Teacher's doing. You have an error. Yes, error. Object reference not set to an instance of the object. Well, that's called a critical failure. Okay, send. That's a critical issue. Crashes. Okay, send. We're sending it now. How far back is this going to take me? Because I'm a dipshit and I don't 
quick save long enough, but hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully it's an autosave inside the building. Got to freaking be kidding me. No, I've done all that. Why isn't is it marked? I am playing. I am playing. I'm playing a deliverer. So I am playing a Asimir assassin, an Asimir holy assassin. So um So it's 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 uh it's kind of cool cuz instead of being like, you know, a thief or something, I'm pretty much a uh an arm of uh of a god who goes around doing all the stuff that uh, other people can't do, you know. Uh, so, in essence, I'm a I'm a holy assassin that sends evil to hell. Yeah, kind of like that. Um. So, have you have you looked up the uh, the the deliver uh, archetype? Why does it keep saying chaotic evil? Everything I look, go over it says chaotic evil. I'm definitely not chaotic evil. I'm pretty much neutral good, but seems weird that everything I l go over today says chaotic evil on it. Dretch deliverer. All of a sudden I'm a dretch. I don't even know what that means. Okay. Question is did it save before or after or at any point in time does it save when you actually come in or not because that seemed weird all right um am i gonna have to do that whole quick saving Oh my god, it didn't do any of the stuff we just did with Horgus Quirm. Uh, what kind of reward are we talking about? Diplomacy 23. I succeeded. Uh, what does the job involve? I already did this. We gotta beat a bodyguard. Uh, deal. All right, F5 to save. I'm going to go. It should have saved when I f freaking rested. I don't understand why it. Why you didn't save before? That um, was kind of game breaking. Game breaking, to say the least. Um, where's Wolgif? Wolgif. That's land. Wolgif. Wolgif. Where are you? Alright, Wolgif. Here we go. We gotta talk. You wanted me to talk to you? I'm gonna talk to you. Come closer and look around quickly to make sure no one, uh, no one is eavesdropping. 
Look, Chief, I got something to show you. Ta-da! He makes a subtle gesture, and an amulet on a chain appears in his hand. A silver amulet in the shape of a waning moon with a dark crystal in the middle. The moon of the abyss. A real beaut, isn't it? Uh... Did you really have the amulet this whole time? Well, since that knife, Chief, Melrone didn't even set eyes on it. While he was dealing with a golem, I sneaked past them and that was that. Uh, remind me why this item is so important. Do you really not remember it? I thought you would appreciate it. It's from the old man Philemon, the owner of the Ancestries and Wonder Shop. It's pride of his collection. The Moon of the Abyss, an amulet with a rare crystal crafted by an unknown maker. When I think of how much this thing is worth, it makes my head spin. Huh. You've been searched by the guards. How did you manage to hide the amulet? Hmm, thieves have their ways. Why didn't you give the amulet to Chris me right away? So she would slay me right away, you mean? You saw how antsy she was over Kinbris and all this. So I did it. I took the moon of the best, but I didn't go to Erebeth, and Big Sister wouldn't hear my explanations. She doesn't have the time. I even thought I'd hide the moon somewhere and then when all the noise had died down, I'll go and get it and make a run for it. I'm sick of the tieflings and they never appreciated me anyway. No, they didn't, but I appreciate you. I appreciate you very much. Uh, you wouldn't have been able to sell it. <laughs> Why, he asks. Wolgif puts his hands in his pockets and looks away. It's expensive, pretty, and you know, it's my amulet, actually. Not meaning I stole it, but he sighs. I mean, it's in my inheritance. My grandma and I were poor. All we had was a jewelry box with a moon in it. She used to store it under the floor in the basement, and she'd take it out sometimes to look at it. She was always nicer when she had a few drinks in her, so... I could ask her things then. One time I asked her, uh, one time I asked her where she got it from and she said it was from a demon, you know, the demon who was my grandfather. He said the moon has to be passed down. My ma was good for nothing and nobody so that's why grandma decided to keep the amulet for me. She used to say it would be mine when I grew up. But she couldn't wait until I grew up. She squandered my inheritance when she became a drunk. Took it into Philemon's shop and pawned it. He gave her some coppers for it and she didn't even haggle. She just grabbed them and ran back to the tavern before last orders. Wow. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna shrug. It's your business, not mine. I mean, you deceive the people who considered you a friend. That's not the way you treat your friends. So I, that's not how I react right now. I'd be like, okay, you got your stuff. That was yours. You took it back. That, that's, uh, that's all good. I, I'm, I'm good in that way, right? It was yours to begin with. It's your business. Allies, friends, it's all a load of crap. Life brings us together, forces us to make plans, do whatever we need to do, but it's a safe bet that this ain't forever. I may be a traitor, but the others, are they any better than me? Melrone had a good reputation in the family. He was trusted, and you see what happened? If you abide by the law, anyone can rob you. So you need to break the law first when no one expects it and run before you go soft and get too attached. Making sure no one is going to take the amulet from him, Wuljif hides it under his shirt and folds his arms on his chest. Whatever you think, I owe you. 
I'm not just a thief. I have my own business selling things. Thanks to you, I'm still in the family. And they, I mean we, have the black market sewn up in the city. It's a good way to sell valuables. Okay. So if you need anything, a scroll or something, just say the word. I have a little portal to our people in Narasane. You put a note there and you get what you need. I can't get you anything big. Uh, but what they do have is all high quality. Nothing too good for you, chief. What's mine is yours for a price, of course. Okay. Uh, which originally belonged to the Jefto family has ended up back in the Jefto families. See, I think that's a good thing. It, it acted like I should be upset by that, but I'm not I'm upset by. It seemed to me that that's the way it should be, right? Okay. Last time I tried to leave, it crashed. Oh, yeah, it didn't crash this time. That's a good thing. All right, I did. Where did you come from? Wait a minute. Who is... I have never met this person. And where did the other... Who am I missing? Turn into a holy crap! Wait a minute. Time out. Is that okay? Okay, okay, chat, 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 chat. Help me out. Is that is that is that the <sighs> what in the Hades? Okay, I'm flabbergasted. Um, what, oh, Nino just turned into a fox. She wasn't a fox earlier. Does anyone want does anyone in the chat want to explain that to me? Please explain that to me, please. Please come on. Yes, no, maybe. Chat. Come on, chat. Why All right, is it like a werewolf thing or 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 not? Kind of Nino just turned into a fox. She wasn't a fox earlier. She was not a fox earlier. She was she's a little bit crazy, but she wasn't a fox, but now she's a literal fox. It's a furry night for her. Yeah, I, I, that's what I thought. Yeah, it's all of a sudden. Um, where's this? Okay. 